Hey everybody, this is Big Dog. I'm up in my shop today. I, I worked this morning and then I came up to the shop because I wanted to do a video on things that I have picked up in the past two weeks or so. Uh, thrift stores, flea markets, uh, people just giving me stuff and uh, some buys that I got out of the Walmart and Target. So let's go ahead and start with this right here on the back of the truck. I got a phone call today. It says, hey, I got all these ratchet straps, man. You can have them. Come get them. These are brand new. They're in certification. Uh, the ratchets are 10K ratchets. I think they're probably rated around, you know, probably 8,000 pound ratchets or so. I don't really know. I didn't look at the specs. But they're in really good shape. Uh, so I have these. Anybody need any, let me know. Hit me up. And we'll work it out. Uh, I have another buddy. Like I said, I'm at the warehouse. So I have another buddy. He had uh, he's been he's a picker for me. He goes out and he picks things, and he picked up all these bikes. Now this is a girl's bike. It's really good condition. It's almost like brand new. Then I got this mongoose. Hey, needle. And I got this uh, mongoose bike here. It's the paint's faded. It's a little on the rough side, but it's got a lot of good parts on it. I got this one back here. The seat's ripped. I have a brand new seat at the house. I might just throw a red, plain black seat on it. So that's really clean. Really nice bike. Better on the light side. Maybe you can see them a little better. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll tell you where I got these as I go. This year I went up to the Goodwill up in Belmar, the bin the bin where you buy by the pound. So that was in there. I just figured I'd pick it up. I think that day at, up there I spent like $16. But I got that Optimus Prime Imaginex play set. Really good condition. I do have some uh, Imaginex figures that I want to throw with it. See what else I got. I got Wreck It Ralph up there. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding? You sleep in, you do no work, then you go to Tappers with me every night. I've literally just described paradise. My best friend. Start churning butter and put on your church shoes, little sister, because we're about to blast off. We're going to the internet. Hey, kid, wake up! So that's kind of neat. Then I got this uh, quick change Grimlock. The legs were real loose. I think that's why I got third in the thrift store. And uh, I was able to take it apart and get the legs tight, so it's pretty tight now. When this thing came out, this thing here, complete, brand new, is like 130 bucks. That's crazy for that. And it's not, it doesn't even do nothing. You just pull a lever and it stands straight up. So that's kind of crazy. So, this was a buy I just did at Walmart. I'm a fan of the square body stuff. So that's a square body 80s blazer. So that's probably gonna go in my collection. Cause I collect uh, like the older trucks like that, as well as the, uh, like I said, monster trucks. So, and this is my table full of goodies. We'll go through it and I'll clean this table off as we go so we can see stuff. So, uh, first things first, I got a big bin of toys. Some came out of the uh, the Goodwill up there in Belmore. All these airplanes did. So what I did is I just bagged them up as lots. And, uh, and this here is just a bunch of uh, lady of mine I work with. She went ahead and told me here's a box of toys for you on the back of your truck i put there so i went through them and there's not really nothing good in there but what i do is i go ahead and uh just bag them up as little lot bags so that's like a five dollar bag um, we got little lopsy opsies i 
Doc McStuffins. I try to separate it as far as like what they were. This is Shopkins and a bunch of little figures throughout. But Paw Patrol. A bunch of animals, bears, elephant. Peppa Pig. My Little Pony. Like I said, a lot of this came out of the box from a friend of mine. So these are like pet shops and a couple of like other little maybe Disney movie dogs and stuff like that. But it's mainly all the little pets. Teen Titans. All these tools, I don't even know what it is. A buddy of mine called me up. Uh, his girlfriend's mother passed away, so they're going through her house, and there's a lot of old toys in there. So I'll be showing you some of them as I get to them and things that I got from there. So there's a Hulk figure. Jey Uso. I've already went through this and priced it up. Hasbro Keen. This is like a Stretch Armstrong kind of thing, but it's from the 2000s. Ross, Ross, Stretch Armstrong Ross. I don't know. So. Mickey Mouse. These are dinosaur eggs. There's two. One is out of like a puzzle dinosaur, and the other one's got like a little baby dinosaur in it. Some Bakugan. Which I have a lot more somewhere. I just gotta find them. So everything I'm showing you so far basically come out of a free box and stuff up at the uh, the Goodwill. Now they got some Star Wars stuff here. I got this uh about probably about two weeks ago off a buddy of mine. That General Grievous's little bike or whatever the heck you call it. Wheel bike. It's really good shape. In here, there's a bunch of different droids. R2D2, there's Boba Fett in there, all kinds of droids. These are all individual price. I just gotta take them to the store and put them on a shelf. This is a bag of Yodas. I think there's five different Yodas in here. It's like a keychain. Got a guy with Columbus that buys them. Here's a the trunks. Dragon Ball Z. A couple of Fisher Price little people. Cowboy. Little pie head kid. Little girl, little boy. I don't think really what else. Oh. I got this too from a, a thrift store called uh, Thrift Village of the Clayton area. So that's going to Abby Cadabby. This punch buggy, I've had one, but the guy that owns my store, the store that I rent from over there, his name's Ben. He likes bugs, so he saw it, so I gave it to him. I had to pick up another one. Six for Nova Gasser. Wagons, how nice. U.S. bus. Eighteen van. A little beat up. But Ertl. 
newer Echo one. And these here are from the 70s. Focus, there you go. Uh, Matchbox, Lindsay. This one, actually, right around that time is when Bigfoot was coming out. So Matchbox called this Bigfoot, even though it wasn't. But they couldn't actually do Bigfoot because of, you know, they get in trouble, I'm sure. All right, now, I'm going to switch over here real quick. Hello Kitty stuff I picked up from the flea market. I do have a a friend that does like Hello Kitty stuff because his girlfriend's in love with Hello Kitty. So I try to keep Hello Kitty stuff. So he, I've already sent him pictures. He's going to come to my store tomorrow, but I won't be there. Cause hopefully, I'm going to go to uh, Pennsylvania in the morning. There's some thrift stores over there I want to hit up. And maybe Jake's Flea Market if it's still open over there. And uh, let's see what's going on over there. Let me just get these put away real quick. We'll move on to something else. Sheriff Kitty or something, I don't know. Got this Monopoly man, he's kind of cool. So, I was saying how I went to a friend of my friend's house. He told me to uh, take what I wanted. So, I went through and I got some of these toys here. These are older, like this here is a Dawn Dolls and friends now i looked these up man these clothes are unreal priced on the one look how much it was dollar nine nine three for a dollar and uh i looked these up online and these outfits in the box like this i cannot believe go anywhere between 20 to 40 dollars and up it is crazy i got this comic book it was in the box. There's another doll new in the box. Jenny, the world of Jenny. Now, these here, they go for about 15 to 20 bucks online. This is a cake de decoration. Uh, they go for about 10 to 15. Wilton cake tops. So this is new in the pack, never been out. A little dirty, but still new. These are, in my shop, I have a pair of roller skates from the 50s. They strapped onto your shoe just like these. This is the same company, but this is a pair of ice skates. So they're really, really, really neat. 1950s. It's a little phone. A working little music box. Real decent shape. Just snap when I got this thing. This thing was like black, dirty, dirty black. So I got a concoction I use and I soak it. It basically takes all the grease and stuff off of it. But um Pretty neat, very pretty neat piece. I had a whole set of these, but a little bit smaller, probably about five inches tall, four inches tall. I sold them already. This is neat, new in the box. Nerds. Majorette trucks. I used to collect a lot of these when I was a kid. So, this dial here is kind of neat. 
This is new in the box. Oh, I got the little one backwards because I had the lid open. Um, but new in the box, tumbles. There you go. And this here, I looked this up online. They go for about 40 bucks. And I got, I think I got 20 or 25, 25 on that one. Also there, they had these wood planes. This does have a crack right there. But it is still in good shape. The chisel's in good shape. Or the scraper, whatever you want to call it. So I got that one. And then I got this edger. Edge cleaner. Now this one here has seen better days. It's missing. See how that goes down like that? It's missing over here. But uh still not bad. And all the pieces are there. But uh I looked these up. These one here go for about 40 bucks. That one there, if it was a little better, would be a 90 100 hour piece. So I got 40 and 25 on them. So what else did I get from there? I got these puppets from there. These are 1973. Now, they're really weird, but at the same time, they're pretty cool. You push this button over here, and it talks. And if you, like, hold this here, and you push with that hand, and there's two little levers over here, little red levers down there. You squeeze them and he'll actually spin around and tumble and all kind of stuff. So he is complete. I mean, he's not like the, I mean, he's in good shape for his age. I mean, his outfit's dirty. You can take it off and probably clean it. Um, I haven't done nothing with it other than just kind of frizz his hair a little bit. Here's another one of those, but this guy here is missing the arm, the stand, and he's missing the leg. So, this guy in mint condition out of a box is about $70, $80. In the box, he's about $250. That guy there, the same if he was complete or better condition. But uh, I think I have $40 on that guy, maybe $30, I can't remember. And $15 or $10 or $15 on that guy. But he's definitely got good parts. I mean... Like I said, just squeeze the button and you talk. So if you have one or need parts, it's worth it. So that's it as far as flea market pickups. My buddy, you know, picking up things from my buddy. Hang on one second. Drop something. So this here was a... Salvation Army pickup today on my way up to the shop. New in the box. I had a couple of these at the store already. This was new in the box. Chevron cars. This is Hope. Hope for breast cancer awareness car. So that's kind of a cool piece. And this is my stack. Of Walmart pickups, Target pickups that I picked up in the past two weeks. Uh, that Wii U I picked up from Ross. I have one of these, but I just saw it was not bought my own. Today I picked this up at Walmart. This is Smoking the Bandit. Scooby. This is that Wii U Dimensions game, Batman Dimensions starter kit. Now, this was the last piece I needed for Wave 1 as far as the He-Man Wave 1. So, I, now I can start picking up Wave 2. When I see them, I haven't seen none yet. But I needed the Sky Sled and Prince Adam. So, a buddy of mine got it for me. 
and I paid it back. I saw it, but I didn't pick one up, and then he hit me up the next day, and I said, you know what? Go ahead and pick one up for me. So I do have uh, the Hiss tank I bought. Now I just picked up the, the Striker. So I have that. I don't have any of the figures yet. I haven't bought any of them. Uh, on the clearance rack in Walmart, I got this blaster. I picked it up for like, I think it was like 15 bucks, 14 bucks, something like that. So, new in the box. It's the actual uh, repop, so still a nice piece. Today, I got this Roblox. I, uh, this was only $10. It had a $50 price tag on it. And when I go to the uh, flea market up in Columbus, people ask me for Roblox or Minecraft, and I don't have none. So when I saw this set, the play set, I figure for 10 bucks, I'll take it up and put $20 on it at my table. It's still $30 cheaper than what you bought. The, the price was on it, so it is what it is. So that's kind of neat. I'm going to drop crap everywhere I know him. Some of the last finds I found was the Iron Giant. They finally cleared these down. I think I got these guys for like $9.99. So he does work. So I bought him. I, I think I'm going to buy a couple more of them. So I can just put them away for when I do shows. Uh, this is the For Forbidden Planet Robbie the Robot. The thing with this guy, when they first brought this guy out, the box itself, if you notice here, he's not carrying a girl. And people have told me, well, one person, I just can't remember who it was, told me that when they first brought it out, it had the girl on it. Ta-da! Had a girl on it. But what happened was, is they didn't have the rights to put the girl in the box. So they kind of had a little bit of a core issue was what I'm being told. And they started making the last run of these with no girl under there in their arms. So now when I picked these up the other day at Walmart, I uh I was like, I was just picking them up because they were nine ninety nine. I said, wait a second, this has a girl on it. So I went and looked this up. And there's actually three different boxes. You have the one without, the one, and two with, but one she's in this gold flesh color bikini, bathing suit, whatever it is, and one where she's in green. Well, I Googled it. I went on eBay and Amazon and seen what people are selling these for, and it's crazy just because of the box and the difference of the variations. That one nine to twenty bucks twenty five bucks the one where she's in green probably thirty to sixty five and this one here I've seen anywhere from sixty five to one hundred and fifty so if you're looking for these try to find the one with the girl on it whether it's the green or the, or the gold or yellow whatever color you want to call it that's the one to look for this one down here not much so that's gonna be it for today I got to run over to my store real quick, drop some stuff over there because I got a kid coming over there tomorrow for Hello Kitty stuff. I just got to make sure that's there. Like I said, I'm going to try to go to Columbus. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to sell or if I'm just going to buy. Uh, I was going to sell, but I decided I don't know yet. I got so much stuff in my truck. I just don't feel like unloading it to start worrying about going to load it. Um, and again, that's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. I need to get some people to come down there and help me clean it. So anybody wants to come down and go through this and help me straighten this crap up, come help me out. Uh, so that's going to be it. Quick quick scan of some of the things I got. Wreck-It Ralph, Optimus Prime, my square body blazer, uh, Robbie's, Iron Giants, Hello Kitty, Grimlock. So... That's it. Till the next time. This is Big Dog. I'm out. Rate, subscribe, tell your friends. If you're looking for something, let me know. I have a lot of friends in the toy business. Uh, and hope everyone has a great day.
Till the next time, Big Dog's out.